Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreet.com and today we are going to do a quick hands-on review and review of the Asus PhonePad 7. Asus PhonePad 7 has been launched today and here we have the device with us. And if we take a look over this device, this device has been enhanced in terms of the loudspeaker quality, the loudness which comes from the loudspeaker, the build quality has been enhanced. It has got a black, a glossy finish basically at the back side and uh, we do have uh, the black version as well which is available for this device this one is the white version which we have and if we take a look over the connectivity and the ports uh, we do have all the kind of connectivity which you will need in a 7 inch tablet this tablet is going to be available for a price of around 17,999 which is the MRP of this device and it is definitely going to come at a lower price within some time that is something which you can tell you as far as the display is concerned you have got a 7 inch IPS LCD or LED display so LED backlit but it is a LCD display basically and when it comes to the resolution you have a resolution of 1280 into 800 and it does have capacitive touch supported when it comes to the capacitive touch buttons they are within the screen not with on the body of the tablet so they will take some part of the screen resolution whenever you are going to use them but one thing which is good about these buttons that you can actually hide these buttons as well if you enable a specific option which is there in the settings so in that way it will give you a full screen resolution as well in some of the application wherever you need it when it comes to the ram you have like 1 gb of ram on this device 16 gb of inbuilt storage and we will just tell you how much of that is actually available now taking a look over this tablet in terms of the build quality this looks pretty nice and pretty good on the build quality department uh, you have a 5 megapixel camera at the back without led flash on this side you have the power and sleep key over here you have the volume rocker and this placement of the volume rocker and the power and sleep key is like the one which we have seen on Nexus 7. When we take a look over the micro SD card slot, we have the micro SD card slot over here to expand the storage of the device and you can insert a 64 GB micro SD memory card on this device maximum. We have the nice ASUS panning over here with Chrome and over here you have the slot for the sim card so you can insert the sim card by ejecting this tray out of this tablet and you will get the sim ejection tool within the package and it will accept a micro sim at the bottom we have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging over here we do have a primary mic over here for voice calling when it comes to the secondary mic there is a secondary mic as well on this device however we are not able to locate it properly we do have some additional sensor over here but it is not the mic when it comes to the front camera, the front camera is 1.2 megapixel camera which we have on this device. Again, it is fixed focus camera. As far as the back camera is concerned, we will just tell you whether that is fixed focus or autofocus supported. As far as other specifications are concerned, this the Intel Turbo Trail Plus Z2560 dual core processor. It is a 1.6 gigahertz processor which is powering this device. You have Android 4.2, and when it comes to the overall interface, the interface is very nicely optimized to make it look different it is not at all stock android but it is kind of snappy that is something which we can notice as of now there is no lag of any kind which we can notice on this device as far as the ui is concerned so if we take a look over the settings let me just go back to the settings so the notification center look like the one which we have seen on the previous asus phone pad and if we go to the settings over here let me just go to the settings so once we are under settings, if we take a look over the version of Android, the version of Android is 4.2.2 on this device and if we take a look over the storage now, let me just show you the storage as well. On the storage you have 16 GB of internal storage out of which around 11.32 GB is available to the user which is good. Again when it comes to the apps, let me just check out the app scenario as well. So if this device has 1 GB of RAM and as of now around 667 MB of RAM is used and you get around 300 or 299 MB to be very precise free on this device which is not too high and not too good again in case you want to install more applications in heavy games and we will test that once we do the full review of this device uh, when it comes to the display you do have support for automatic brightness because of the emit light sensor which we have over here on this device this device does have a proximity sensor as well so it will turn off the display whenever you are on a voice call and when it comes to the earpiece the earpiece is actually inside this speaker grill However, when it comes to the loudspeaker, the loudspeaker is actually over here on this device. So as far as the sound quality is concerned, you will definitely get a better sound quality on this device because this device has dual loudspeaker over here on both of these sides on the edges and you do have earpiece as well behind this loudspeaker grill. So both the loudspeaker and earpiece are over here whereas you have a single loudspeaker over here and it gives you around two loudspeakers, the dual loudspeaker option. 
so when it comes to the ram you have uh, the 1 gp of lp the low power ddr2 ram on this device which is again going to give you good speed whenever you use this tablet you do have the option of creating a portable wi-fi hotspot as well so you can share the 3g sim card internet on this device by creating a wi-fi hotspot with other devices when it comes to the uh, other settings like when it comes to customized settings you do get customized settings as well with which you can optimize the overall look and feel as well as the um, capability of the device in terms of the look and feel of the ui is concerned when we take a look over here as far as the location access is concerned you do have uh, support on this device for gps navigation you can use this device for gps navigation you just need to check the gps satellite option so that you can use it and as far as battery is concerned we have a 3950 milliampere hour battery on this device which is a non removable poly polymer ion battery and it will give you around 10 hours of battery backup as per issues and we will test that once we do the full review of this tablet when it comes to the thickness the thickness of the tablet is around 10.5 mm which is again not too thick and uh, comparable to the other tablets which we have seen in the same price segment when it comes to the weight it is around 340 g which is again fairly okay for a 7 inch tablet of this size in terms of the look and feel this tablet does look pretty premium from the back side as well as from the front side we have an lcd ips lcd display and the viewing angles of this display is pretty good as you can see you can view the screen from extreme viewing angles without any issues to the phone dialer which we have on this device again we have voice calling supported on this device but we do not see the option of making a video call directly from the phone dialer again this tablet gives you both the functionality of doing a voice call as well as you can watch your entertainment stuff on this device uh, whenever you are on the go so you can use it as a tablet as well as it a phone so you can call it as a tablet as well and when it comes to the messaging application this is how the messaging application look like and again the keyboard has become different in terms of the look and feel and typing on this keyboard should not be any issue the keys are pretty big in size and you will not face any problem while typing on this device although you do not have continuous input supported and let me just check for the same so under language and input settings we find that this device does not support continuous input so you cannot do swipe to type on this device with the finger apart from the 16 gb internal storage you can expand the storage of the device with a micro sd memory card and apart from this you also get a cloud storage from asus which is called the asus web storage and it comes 5 gb for free lifetime and you don't have to pay for it you can back up your data uh, using the cloud service which we have on this device supported when it comes to some other pop up application which you can always run on this device uh, even when you are doing other things on the device you can always tap over here and you can bring this application menu which will give you calculator audio wizard unit converter so whenever you tap on these application over here they will keep on running on the overlay as an overlay basically on the ui and you can still do other things on the device whatever you are doing like messaging or anything you can watch these videos in these pop up video players like this you can do some unit conversion over here with the help of this thing over here and again you can have a different kind of multimedia experience and good multitasking on this device with these application which run in a pop up window as far as the back camera is concerned we have a 5 megapixel camera on this device and when it comes to tap to focus you do have tap to focus on this ui and it supports auto focus as well as you can see uh, as you move the device when it comes to the recording options you have the option of taking a photo recording a video directly and you can record high definition video at 720p from the back camera that is something which we can tell you so let me just take a photo as of now and you can also take photos in this way with different effects basically and let me just take a photo as of now from this device from back camera you can use the digital zoom as well in case you want to so we are again taking this photo in low light and let me just show you how this photo actually looks like so once we take a look over this photo the photo looks pretty okay not too good you do have noise which you can easily notice on the photo which we have just captured of my iphone 5 and it is again not a very clear photo in terms of the details but in terms of the colors it looks pretty good but again the performance of the camera should be better in daylight however the low light performance does not seem to be very good on this device here we have the view from the front camera again the front camera is pretty okay you can do a good quality video chat however we are not sure whether you can do a high definition video chat if you can read some details then the quality should be good 
again we do not see that the quality is that good but it is pretty okay in case you want to do a video call from this device because uh, at least the video feed is not hazy and it is pretty okay in terms of the colors as well in case you want to do a video call from this device using the front camera which is over here when it comes to the pre-installed application which you will get on this device these are some pre-installed application which you will get you get sql 5 pre-installed you have kindle application from amazon pre-installed you have the app App, app backup application which you will get so you can backup the application which you have on the device apart from this you get google chrome pre-installed you get facebook pre-installed you get some other applications like movie studio navigation is also there as far as the google applications are concerned when it comes to some other things like google applications you do have all those google applications as well and then you get temple run 2 temple run oz you get some weather application as well which comes installed and this is the web storage which we were talking about it will give you around 5 gb of web storage as well and you do have a power saver application on this device as well which will again optimize the overall uh, battery backup on this device so that you can get good amount of battery backup from this device uh, you can use it in the ultra saving power mode which will again maximize the battery by disconnecting the network connections and you have the optimized mode and customized mode is also there in case you want to customize which feature you would like to disable on the device to get to get more battery backup when it comes to some other things web storage is also there you can always use the web storage for free on this device now here we are running temple run over on this device just to show you the overall gaming performance of this device so let's play this game let's see how does this game actually run on this device so in terms of the overall graphics i would say the game is running pretty smoothly the touch screen response from the device is also pretty good there is no problem with that and the overall loudness which comes out from the loudspeaker is also pretty good if not too loud and i can increase the volume so graphic wise this game is running pretty fine without any issues as you can see so there is no problem with the graphics or the touch screen response which i'm getting from the device and the sensors are also working well as far as gravity sensor is concerned however we will also test some heavy graphic intensive games on this device once we get this device for review so now we are playing subway surfer on this device to show you the performance of the device as far as this game is concerned so as far as the touch screen response is concerned it is pretty good not bad graphics are all are also loading without any problem i can play this game without any issues so the overall performance of the device as far as this casual game is concerned is pretty good as far as the gameplay is concerned and there is no problem with the device which i can notice the draw distance for the game is also pretty good and as far as loudness is concerned the loudness which comes out from the loudspeaker is also pretty good not too loud one thing we which we would like to highlight uh, in this review is that when it comes to the rounded edges which we have on the device you can easily hold the tablet in one hand but slightly they are kind of pointed over here at this point so it might actually feel a little bit awkward when you hold the device like this uh, because these uh, these are kind of pointed edges which you have so that's all from us as far as the quick hands on review of the Asus Phone Pad 7 uh, this tablet is going to come into the market within a week or so and it is going to be available across all the Asus stores which you have seen in the market so in terms of the overall build quality i would like to give a thumbs up to this device in terms of the performance as well this can play casual games without any issue however we still need to test the a uh, heavy graphic intensive game on this device and we will show you uh, how the how the performance of the device as far as those games are concerned uh, in all i would like to give a thumbs up as of now for this device in terms of the overall graphics the overall display it has the display is quite precise and crisp and clear in terms of the pixels the clarity of the display is pretty good viewing angles are also pretty good as you can see you can view the screen from this viewing angle without any issues and there is no pixelation which i can notice on this display uh, there is a little amount of softness but again there is no pixelation as far as this touch screen menu is concerned you can always uh, hide it as well in case you want to have a full uh, screen experience on this device while watching videos or playing games so that is also possible in all this seems to be a pretty good tablet and we will compare this with the samsung galaxy tab 
as well as soon as we get this device for review do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you